Hey, 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 hey. It is the We Are You Morning Crew. I am George Daigle. Sizzling subjects and trending topics is what we have got to cover today. The Diddy situation is unfolding, and I know we're probably already at Diddy burnout right now, but this case is going bonkers. Now, yesterday we revealed that a young Miami has been mentioned in a lawsuit involving yet another Jane Doe who is accusing Diddy of sexual assault under coercion and that young Miami was a part of the scandal. Now, the disgraced music mogul was arrested on September the 16th after being charged with sex trafficking, racketeering, and transportation to engage in prostitution. Now, Combs is being held at Brooklyn's Metropolitan Detention Center after being denied bail twice. When he was first arrested, reports from People magazine revealed that the rapper was on suicide watch, though it was not known if he was actually suicidal. Sources told the magazine that it was for preventive measures as Diddy was in shock by the arrest, making his mental state unclear. Now the outlet has revealed that the 54-year-old Diddy was taken off suicide watch, which comes after getting some visits from family members. According to the reports, he is focused and very strong. He is concentrating on his defense and preparing for his trial. And if that was not enough, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and those who have yet to make up your mind, the lawsuits are still piling up. Diddy has now been hit with 120 new sexual assault allegations. Attorney Tony Busby held a news conference yesterday saying he's representing over 100 people. As I said, our law firms have been retained by 120 individuals at this point to pursue cases in civil court against Sean Diddy Combs. You should know, in this group, it is evenly divided between males and females. There are 60 males and 60 females who have joined us to pursue these claims as plaintiffs. The victims are from more than 25 states. The majority are from California. New York, Georgia, and Florida. Our youngest victim at the time of the occurrence is, was nine years old. We have an individual who was 14 years old. We have one who was 15. 25 of the 120 individuals who are plaintiffs in these cases were minors at the time of the acts complained of. The time frame of the acts complained of is very wide. The conduct at issue spans from the years 1991 all the way till this year, 2024. The day will come when we will name names other than Sean Combs, and there's a lot of names. Um, it's a long list already. And of course, I already know who some of these individuals are, but because of the nature of this case, we're going to make damn sure, damn sure that we're right before we do that. Uh, but the names that we're going to name, assuming that our investigators confirm and corroborate what we've been told are names that will shock you. Now, Busby said at least 25 of the alleged victims were minors at the time of the alleged abuse, with the youngest being nine years old. Now, the attorney says that the child was brought to New York City by Combs's record label, Bad Boy Records, for an audition but was sexually abused by Combs and his associates at the studio. The boy was promised that he and his parents would get a record deal. Now, Busby claims his team has gathered evidence, including photos, videos, and texts to support the allegations. He stated that the accusations include violent sexual assault, rape, facilitated sex with controlled substances, dissemination of video recordings and sexual abuse of minors. And the list is long, says Busby, and the names involved will shock you. There are 120 new cases and all of the other cases that are already on the docket against P. Diddy. Federal charges have been lodged against him. I have to say this. All of these people are not lying. Yes, there may be some people that are involved in some of these cases that are, that are hoping to make a cash grab. Yes, 
That always happens in, in these sexual allegation cases. However, many of these people are probably not lying about what P. Diddy did. And the way that this lawyer is asserting that, hey, when this comes out, there are going to be some names that you know and you are going to be shocked by their involvement, how deeply involved or, or what they did is yet to be known. But this case, as I have said in the very beginning, it is not just Diddy's head that they are after. There are going to be some big names, probably prominent politicians, probably prominent um, law officers, maybe some judges, medical uh, professionals that are implicated in this case to such an extent that no one can deny their culpability. And that is where we are right now. And uh, we'll see how this entire situation will unfold. Ladies and gentlemen, I got to get on up and get on out of here. Woo! Baby, it's a vibe over here. We Are You Radio is the only 24-7 station celebrating the LGBTQ plus community with fierce R&B, electrifying hip-hop, and pulse-fading dance music. All day, air day. We play more urban LGBTQ artists in one hour than other pride stations play all day. It's for the he's, the she's, the they's, and the them. You can listen to us on Live 365 on the iHeartRadio app. Listen to us on our website, weruradio.com, and you can download the We Are You Radio app today. You just might hear your new favorite song. Go in your devices store and look up WERU Radio. What you waiting on? Listen today to find out what makes us the urban sound of pride. Just listen and find out for yourself. I bet you'd like it.